From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching The Press Row. I'm Jenny Carlson. He's Barry Trammell. We're brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. You can go online right now and order your pizza at papajohns.com. Time for Inbox. We answer your email questions right here on video. Let's get started with David with the question of the week, I think. If Ohio State and Auburn both win their last games, obviously conference championship games this weekend, who goes to the BCS championship? Obviously assuming, I think, that Florida State wins their, right. their championship game. I think it's going to be Ohio State, but I think it's going to be close. I think you're <laughs> going to see a great uh, uh, media campaign by uh, the SEC, and frankly, they've got a lot of ammunition, and not just in the years past. If you study the resumes of Auburn and Ohio State, Auburn has the better resume, even with the loss. So um, I, I think some voters are going to say, you know what, uh, just because Ohio State is unbeaten does not mean they, uh, they automatically get to go to the Big Bowl. However, I think enough do to just get the Buckeyes in. Yeah, I'm going to say Ohio State ends up being that team that goes, but, you know, I think we're talking about what was it the year that OSU just got beat out, like, Point zero zero yeah, very eight. Small, very small. I mean, I think we're talking about potentially that kind of differential between uh, the Buckeyes and uh, and the Tigers. I, and I think justifiably so. I think that they are really close, neck and neck um, type of situation. Now, if one of them loses, I think that clearly opens the door for the other. But um, you know, I think it's going to be super close. Be exciting to see those BCS rankings come out on Sunday. All right, back to the inbox. And Isaiah says, just a suggestion that is definitely out of left field. Hey, we like left field ideas, Barry. What about Lane Kiffin as offensive coordinator for OU? Good offensive assistant while at USC under Pete Carroll and a very good recruiter. Well, this question isn't really from out of left field. It's more like it's uh, uh, from out of the, out of the uh, upper deck seats or maybe down the street from the corner bar. I think that's where this suggestion is. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Mars. Just frankly, so you but. know, <laughs> Lane Kiffin was not the offensive coordinator at USC. Steve Sarkeesian was, and they just, uh, uh, Pat Hayden took over and fired Lane Kiffin, just hired Steve Sarkeesian. Um, Lane Kiffin has frankly gotten a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, headway in college football, thanks to who his dad is. I think those days are over. OU has an offensive coordinator in Josh Heupel. Uh, much better fit for that job than Lane Kiffin. If Bob Stoops makes a, uh, a coaching change, there's uh, 300, may, there might be 3,000 better candidates <laughs> than Lane Kiffin. That seems like a lot, frankly, but I think there would be better candidates for uh, offensive coordinator at OU than Lane Kiffin. I, I frankly don't get the love for Lane Kiffin. I, you know, he has gotten a ton of jobs based on jobs he's got previously, based on what exactly? He, His he, last name. He's like the he's like the Paris Hilton of college football, the Kim Kardashian of college football. Do you know who those people are? I know who both of them are, unfortunately. Wow. You're stepping up in your pop culture knowledge, Barry. That's impressive. All right, back to the inbox. This one from Steve. He says, what evidence do you have that Reggie Jackson is more athletic than James Harden? Harden is very athletic. He just plays at a slow pace but can turn it on when he wants. Well, here's, uh, here's my evidence right here. My balls. <laughs> you watch these guys play? I love James Harden. All of America love James Harden. Oklahomans love James Harden. But he's not as athletic as Reggie Jackson. He's not as quick. He doesn't jump as high. James Harden, much more skilled. Can, can shoot better, can dribble better, can do more things with the ball, has those angles and things. But in terms of explosiveness, in terms of athletic ability, Reggie Jackson's where it at, is where it's at. He's a poor man's Russell Westbrook. Uh, the evidence is right there in front of our face. I'm not sure what else I can say to, to, to carry this one on, but yeah, I mean, James Harden, okay, he's sneaky athletic. Let's put it that way. He is, he's, he is athletic, but he plays that sort of old man style where he's sort of got that Euro step and he kind of does some things that make you think he's a lot older than he is, but he, uh, but he is athletic, but he's not Reggie Jackson athletic. Reggie Jackson yeah. is phenomenal. He's a phenomenal athlete, folks. Let's be honest. He's not... He's not, uh, he's not that number zero guy, but pretty darn good. All right, one more time to the inbox. Bill says, will OU play the Cowboys tough? Trevor Knight makes OU's offense a 180-degree package over the Belldozer package. Yeah, you know what? I think the answer is yes. I think OU will play the Cowboys tough. And I do think Trevor Knight gives uh, the Sooners uh, the best chance. I think if, uh, if OU was back in the uh, business of uh, uh, the old offense with Blake Bell, I think uh, the Sooners would be in trouble because 
you know, OU is, is uh, running an offense that really didn't fit what they've been working on, They're running an offense that didn't fit Blake Bell. I think at least they've got an identity with, uh, with Trevor Knight running that offense. So uh, I still like OSU to win, but I do think Knight and that offense gives the Sooners a chance. Yeah, I think some of the things that Trevor Knight has showed with his legs in Manhattan that are basically not teachable, it's not schematically what you draw up. It's just instinct and uh, ability, basically. I mean, stuff that makes defenders miss, stuff that extends plays, stuff that gets extra yards. That's the type of thing he does just because that's the type of skill set he has, type of mentality he has. So you can't, you can't really replicate that. You can't really coach that. And that's hard to defend as well. But I tell you what, Oklahoma State's defense is as well suited to defend that today than they've been in a long time, athletically, uh, experience-wise, scheme-wise, they're in a good spot to be able to uh, to not shut that down, but to keep it as uh, under control as they can. So if they didn't have as good a defense as they have right now, I'd say big problem for the Cowboys. But I love their defense. I think the game will be close, but I think they'll handle Trevor Knight. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.